<laughs> Welcome to episode 10 of Guild Ball Gotchas, where we take a look at the most powerful plays and combinations in Guild Ball and teach you how to play around them. Before we get into the episode, I want to point you to my Patreon, where you can support the channel and get cool rewards like extra videos and custom status effects tokens. This time, we are looking at a popular scalpel maneuver affectionately referred to as the Sad Triangle. In order to talk about this properly, let's first discuss Scalpel's playstyle. Scalpel is one of the best standoff pieces in the game. She wants to dive into opponent's lines and precisely cut out one piece, then get back out clean. Due to this playstyle, she loves last activation. When she can't get last activation, she tries to create it using the Sad Triangle. The Sad Triangle goes something like this. Scalpel is about to activate, and will be the last player to activate for the Morticians. Kraken still has to activate for the Fisherman's Guild. Scalpel attacks Akana and uses Voodoo Strings on Siren. She attacks again and Voodoo Strings Grayscales. She attacks again and Voodoo Strings Kraken. Her fourth attack hits a Spirit Bomb on Kraken, Grayscales, and Siren. This puts all three of them in base contact. Her final attack Voodoo Strings Akana into base with Kraken. Scalpel second wins away. Kraken is now in the Sad Triangle. He cannot walk through friendly models, and as a result, he cannot do anything with his activation. So that's pretty brutal. But it isn't as easy to play around as you might think. The most obvious advice to beat this is also probably the most useless. Just spread out. Let's ignore for a second that many guilds rely on positional synergies, and without them can't hope to beat Scalpel. Scalpel can make models move 7 inches apart with relative ease. A Voodoo Strings push on each model brings them within 3 inches of each other, and a Spirit Bomb to bring those to base. The easiest way to play around the Sand Triangle is to play a model that cannot be penned in by your own minis. There are models that fit this criteria by ignoring intervening models while advancing, like Dirge and Bonesaw, but a more common type of ability that prevents being penned in is one that displaces a friendly model. These are abilities like Quick Time, Dummy Pass, or in this example, Battering Ramp. Jack gets trapped by Scalpel, and uses Battering Ram to nudge all models trapping him out of the way. Another way to prevent Scalpel from putting you in the Sad Triangle is to put pressure on Scalpel. If there is enough pressure on Scalpel, you can force her to activate early, making sure that the Triangle does not make you sad. In our example, the Fisherman player sprints Siren to pick up the ball, and passes it to Kraken, dodging him up. This places Kraken within range to drag Scalpel into his team forcing Scalpel to act. Putting pressure on Scalpel is different for every faction, but generally you want to threaten to kill or disable her, forcing her to activate early. And the final way to avoid the sad triangle is to have the ball on your last model to act. This works because a successful pass with the ball triggers a displacement ability, and displacement abilities allow you to escape the sad triangle. I hope you have found this episode helpful. If you did, you can help me over on Patreon, where donations as little as $1 help this channel grow. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. To know the minute I upload a new video, hit the bell. Hit that like button, it helps other Guild Ball players find this video. In the comments down below, let me know if I missed any important points about playing around Scalpel's sad triangle. Let me know what gotcha you'd like me to cover next. My name is Vincent Kirkov, and this has been Guild Ball Gotchas.